Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at CES 2019 at the Sands Expo Convention. And we are here at the Edor eBox uh, booth, and we have uh, Brian Johnson. Uh, Brian, uh, can you tell us more about Edor and eBox? Sure, James, nice to meet you. We've created a product here that we believe has solved package theft in its entirety. And in addition to that, and maybe to industry, maybe even more importantly, we've solved major grocery delivers, uh, delivery issues by being able to keep packages refrigerated or hot. Because the last mile delivery, the last foot delivery, is a huge issue when it comes to the grocery industry. So we have a very simple solution. And that solution is to make sure that number one, your package is not left on your doorstep for a, a porch pirate to get. Number two, a secure infrastructure to make sure your package can be placed within your door without ever granting someone access to come inside. And that unique identification to that person that's gonna deliver is a one-time use, full security using NFC technology to give one-time access to that deliverer, whether it's UPS, FedEx, whether it's your friend down the street who borrows a drill and you want it returned, it's completely secure. You never need to leave your house. You never need to go outside to retrieve a package. So ultimately, no more porch pirates, no more theft. People have lost enough, and now you get your groceries delivered hot or cold. James. That's nice. So are we just talking about groceries and packages, or is there uh, other items that uh, is applicable to this? It's almost anything you can think about. You know, we get into things like w with our intellectual property, with our ecosystem. Now we're talking about getting things that you normally need to go out and get getting controlled medications delivered, getting alcohol delivered, getting cannabis delivered, by essentially tying in our system to a unique identifier to that individual's identity and using biometrics to make sure that that e-box is only opened by that individual person. So anything delivered, I would say yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I noticed like with some neighborhoods I drive through, uh, I'll see like loads outside in the front door and basically, uh, it's dry cleaning, so uh, something like that can be used. Correct. We have multi-configurable boxes, right? We have one actually specific for dry cleaning. We, we refer to it simply as the valet box, where dry cleaning is not hooked to your light outside of your door, which most of them are, but now it's out of the elements. It's out from things that might crawl into your dry cleaning, and it's placed in a secure, basically almost hermetically sealed compartment, so now you have your, your dry cleaning, and you're just simply having incredible technology on the outside, but it's as simple as opening a box on the inside for people to retrieve their things, the items they purchased, someone that borrowed something, someone that wants to give you a gift. It's not left out in the elements. It's not there visually for people to see. So how does that work out like the UPS, FedEx, or DHL uh, delivery guy comes? How do they know how to open the box? Sure, great question. I'll, I'll show you an example right here. So we're gonna use very simple but encrypted NFC technology. So on any one smart device, it can be in your, your pocket for that matter, they're gonna get an e-key associated with that delivery. Whether it's your friend who you're sending an e-key to, or whether it's UPS, FedEx, DHL, local small carriers, where that e-key identifier will automatically be tagged to that set of packages or that individual package based upon airway bill number, based upon SKU number, you know, ad infinitum, the way to identify it. So that delivery driver or personal friend comes to your door, NFC, and in this case I have this as a static, it'll show them which box to place it in. So for example, James, three of these boxes might be full. Let's go to the fourth box, and the system will read that. The system reads it um, through Alexa API with an internal guts of Arduino, right? And the, NFC, the, the outside is obviously NFC. That package opens, that door opens. You have our actuators extend into the home, into the property, whether that's here or whether that's a standalone box. The package is placed in there, the door is shut, that e-key is destroyed immediately. So that's for one one-time access only for those particular products or product for that individual delivery person or friend. Okay, so uh, it can. There's different configurations you said. So it can be actually you can purchase a door, or you can just have uh, a box, or 
And that's what's cool. And, and coming to the show, I meet a variety of different people from all over the world. And so if you're looking at a 400-year-old building in Paris, France, in downtown Paris, you know, you're talking about old construction. They might not have the ability to open a door. Now we get into placing boxes into different materials into different substrates into glass which we figured out into garage doors into fences into gates you know things where people are going to go and where delivery drivers through gps technology can be pointed to so we understand the door is not the solution for everyone it could be the door it could be just a box placed in your fence on your side of your house it could be a global system that's used in, in the downstairs or the garage of high density housing. The important thing is ultimately it's secured. And we even take that a step further is we can use our e-tether system if all of these are full or if you have uh, a TV or you're getting a bike or I love music, let's order a guitar. Now I feel comfortable because I can tether that product. I can tether that product and now it's alarmed. Not only is it alarmed, but now we know and there's various methodologies in here, but now we really know who's stepping on the property because we're gathering their information before they even get to the front door through simple beaconing technology. So we have a, also a camera. Yeah, sure. So very simple two-way communication, high def uploads to the cloud, uploads to the eDoor app. And then also going further with our eTether system, you have high def cameras, you have night vision cameras, and again, real-time monitoring just like a variety of other people here, but taking it a step further, ultimately, is your package is enclosed and it's safe. And it's not left out in the elements. So the e-tether, um, say you can't afford the door or one of these boxes uh, installed, you can just, uh, you can just have the e-tether um, installed. Sure, that's correct. So an e-tether would be simply as a, a DIY project. So if you can imagine, uh, companies out there that sell doorbells that have video cameras on it, it's going to be very sim similar to the e-tether device. And so the e-tether device, and I'll show you James if you step out of the way for a second. So the e-tether device, again all these doors are full or even oversized package, what will end up happening is this light, just similar to these lights right here, Based upon that NFC, it'll direct UPS, FedEx, your friend, because with those package orders, we already know how big they are. If you have something 40 by 40 by 40, we know, we know that via package SKU, via package airway bill number. So if it's too big, what we're gonna do now is tether the product. Once that product is tethered, then the package is alarmed. So if anyone, anywhere, takes that package, we have a number of different things that are going to happen. First and foremost, if it's cut or moved, we have a visual alarm, which is cool, but then we take it a step further, and let me show you what happens here. Stop. Package theft. Stop. So we're going to have an... You are being recorded. Stop. Package theft. The police are being called. Your smartphone has been identified. Stop. So, we've done several things. We have a tether deterrent, we have a visual component, we have an auditory component, we have beaconing technology so we actually know who they are, and finally when you get into APIs, when you get into AI smart technologies, we can interact with law enforcement and let them know that a package has been stolen and we actually know who they are which is a whole different ball game than taking someone's picture and putting it online and saying, hey, this person stole my package. Correct, especially if it's like a $10 item. Cor correct, correct. But then you get into package stuff that's not reported. You get into very sentimental items. It might be pictures. It might be someone that's going to take mom or dad's wedding album and just say, I didn't want this, and throw it in the trash. Those are things that are priceless. And those are the things that go unreported. And not only are those people getting affected, but when you start talking about you know, online retailers, it's the retailers hurting because they're needing to replace the package uh, most of the time. So there's a tremendous, um, tremendous cost burden to everybody involved. And 
we, we believe we have a very, it's a very simple solution. It's not overly complex. There's great technology in here, but ultimately it's never leaving your home, opening up a door, getting your package and knowing it's there. It's really as simple as that. And that's what the consumer or business owner or commercial applications needs to, needs to know. Right. So with these uh, different configurations, um, what are we looking at price-wise? That's a great question. And, and, I'll, and I'll preface this out in, in, in a number of different ways. But specifically, if you look at very large companies that went to market with video doorbells, um, those prices shrunk um, to about two-thirds of the original two-market price. That being said, we believe the e-tether system, and I won't blind you anymore, we believe the e-tether system as a standalone product will be between $295 to $495. With economy of scale, that price goes down dramatically. A standalone e-box will be in the neighborhood of $495 to $595. A door with a standard e-box in it, $1,295. Uh, that's, that's our ballpark price in a fully configurable door with biometric access with multiple compartments, $2,295. About. And for a DIYer yourself, getting it off, you know, eventually to market, pulling it off the shelf at a, a major um, hardware store like a Lowe's, like a Home Depot, down the street, it's going to be very simple for them to install. Knock out the pins, put a new door in. This whole configuration, our whole product line charges inductively wirelessly within 30 feet of that actual door or box. Download the app. Now you have the coolest front door in the neighborhood. So, Brian, uh, thanks for your time and explaining everything on the e-door, the e-box, and the e-tether. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you to James. Thank you to Miles. Thanks, JTEC TV. We look forward to you guys coming out and supporting the product. And uh, this is going to make a huge difference in people's lives. Rock and roll. Thank you all very much.